Hello, Sam from Toolhead here today. Today's project is an ECM update on a 2004 Toyota Camry. We're going to be using the Toyota TechStream software to accomplish this job. Uh, so there's going to be a couple things you're going to need. First thing you're going to need is a J2534 interface. Uh, I'm using the Blue Streak iFlash. Uh, I have used several J2534 devices with Toyota and I have not found one that doesn't work well. So likely what you have is going to work. Uh, so if you don't have an iFlash, don't be concerned. The other thing you're going to need is a Toyota TechStream subscription with the license activated. Uh, and a good stable power supply. Set it to about 13.2 to 13.6 volts if it's adjustable. If it's not, put a voltmeter on it and monitor it and make sure that you don't fall below 12.8 volts or so. Uh, Toyotas don't like the voltage to go low and it will actually shut off the programming sequence if the voltage gets too low. Uh, so we don't want any problems there. So follow along here. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your Toyota TechStream software and do a health check. Unfortunately I get, didn't get this part recorded. Uh, it's a pretty simple process, so hopefully you can get there, uh, you connect to the vehicle, and then you just do a health check. It's one of the first options. So that's where we're going to start. After you've run the health check, you'll see the update yes button over on the right-hand side. It's going to take you to your Toyota TechStream subscription so you can log back in. It's actually going to open up the bulletin that relates to the update. Once you've done that, you're going to scroll down into the update. You're going to find the calibration update you're looking for. It does have the whole process for doing it with an older tool. It does work just fine with the text stream. And once you click on this, it's going to open up your uh, calibration update wizard, which looks like this. You're going to It'll have a prompt for turning the key on and off a couple of times, and then it's going to start. I apologize for not having that part recorded. And then once it's completed, you'll just get a message to turn off the key as well. And once you do that, you're pretty much done. Uh, it does want you to put a label on the ECM. Uh, I typically don't, but if you got labels, you can put them on. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more programming videos. I am working on some diagnostics videos as well. So keep an eye out for those. Have a great day.